What's up guys? This is Richard again for this edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to work with structural steel frames in Revit Structure 2017. So in this exercise, I'm going to show you quickly how to create a moment frame and a brace frame. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, create a moment frame in my plan view. Okay, so it's a moment frame is like a symbolic representation for structural framing elements. Okay, so this one is very quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, zoom in here first. So let's say, for example, I'm going to work on to this girder here. Okay, so from my properties here, if you're going to move your... Uh, uh, slider so you will notice there is an option here uh, from the structural parameter there's an option here is start connection and uh, end connection okay so this is the parameter that you can use to change the start connection and end connection <laughs> all right so there's an option here the moment frame okay so you just need to select moment frame so you will notice this portion here so let me see first uh, let me change it first okay so same with the end connection and then as i apply okay so you will notice there is this triangle okay so that is actually the uh, symbol for moment frame okay it's like a symbolic representation for structural framing elements okay and then after that, what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to create a framing elevation. All right. So I'm going to create here a framing elevation. So framing elevation, since it has something to do with view, from the view tab, okay, I'll just go ahead and click the elevation drop down here and then you will see there your framing elevation. So I'm going to select this. Okay, I'll just make sure that attached to grid here is check. Okay, so when I move it along the grid here, so you will notice my elevation here, my framing elevation here attaches to the grid. So I'll just click here. Okay, so there's now the elevation that I just uh, created. Okay, so if you are going to clear your attached to grid box, the elevation symbol will not automatically uh, point to the grid line. So you need to select the elevation symbol and uh, turn the elevation views on or off to generate the correct view. Okay, so what I'm going to do uh, next is I'm going to open the elevation that I just created, this one. Okay, so this is the elevation. And let me just quickly adjust the boundary here. Okay, let me just adjust the boundary. Okay, and then the level all right so something like this okay and then after that from the uh, view control bar you see there's an option here the detail level so i'm going to change this to medium okay so this is how it looks like if it is medium so if you're going to change this to coarse okay so this is how it looks like so our structural elements are represented as stick symbols which are single line graphical representation for structural elements anyway i'll just change this to medium so that it will look like this okay all right next what i'm gonna do next is i'm going to add braces to the framing elevation so from the structure tab i'm going to select here the brace tool this one and then from the type selector, uh, all right, so maybe I'll just use this one. And then I'm going to click now on the intersection of my uh, grid E and the, and the first floor. Okay, this one I click and then I'll snap to the midpoint here. Okay, so same with my uh, other side here. Okay, and then I'll just snap at the midpoint. If you're having a difficulty snapping at the midpoint, what you can do is you can move your pointer somewhere here at the midpoint center line, and then you can press the tab. So as you can see, every time you press your tab, 
it cycles the selection. So you just need to pick once it snaps with the midpoint. There's the triangle, sing uh, triangle symbol. So I just click this one. There you go. Okay. So I'll just modify this to terminate. And let's say I'll just open the 3D view. Okay, so this is the one that I just created. So let me just key, uh, type WT to tile the view. Okay, so let me just close this first. Okay, click this and then WT. All right, so if I want to see the 3D here. Okay. Okay, so another thing that you can do here, you can actually change the uh, elevation of your uh, brace here. So I'm going to select this, let's say, for example, and then from the properties here, there is an option here, uh, start attachment elevation. Now, it's currently set to zero. So I'm going to change this, let's say, to minus 450. So it will go down minus 450. See, once I apply, you check out the 3D view. See? All right, so I'm going to do that also to the other side. So I click this. And then I change the start attachment elevations, minus 450, and then I just apply it. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to add more two braces to create an X-shaped uh, brace frame. Okay, so I select here the brace again. And then this time I click here, intersection, and then at the uh, midpoint. All right, so I click, there you go. So I click here, and then I click midpoint. All right, there you go. Okay, so this is not the, uh, the braces I just created. Okay, so if you will notice, if you go to the second floor, or if I open the second floor, I'll just maximize this one. So automatically, the rabbit will create the symbol of your uh, frame. You see, I have here four frames. Okay, so if you want to modify the symbol, so what you can do is, you can go to the Manage tab, and then there's the Structural Settings, Structural Settings here. So I click this one. Okay, and then from the Brace Symbol, so instead of Line with Angle, so I'll just use here Parallel Line. Okay. Just ensure uh, show brace above here is checked. Okay, so parallel line. So I select your OK. And there you go. Right, so uh, these are now my four braces. Okay. So what I'm going to do, these four braces that I just created, I'm going to copy it here. So I'm going to select the four braces here. Okay. And then I'm going to copy it copy and then I'll just make sure the constraint here is checked so that it contain, uh, constrain my move direction. So I'm going to pick here as my base point and then I'm going to snap it to my one here. There you go. And then I select here modify. So if I'm going to change that to 3D view, so this is how it looks like. So let me just hide first the roof. So I click the roof, right click, Hide in view by category. All right, so this is now my braces. Okay, all right, so it's a very quick exercise, but it will really help you a lot in learning the basics of uh, creating your braces. All right, so hopefully, you learned something from this video. So, if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, you can just put it on the comment section below. And then uh, you can also subscribe to my channel so you will be updated once I created another video. So, I also have a blog site, I put it already on the description of this video. So, I can also share these exercise files to you, no problem. Okay, so yeah. Once again, this is Learning with Rich. Have a nice day.